everyone magic flying potato here and welcome to day two of station ears and what i'm going to do is i'm going to build a basic three panel solar array this isn't the fancy one with the panels that will follow the sun around that needs steel i have not made steel yet and i have not learn the real the good technique of making the circuits the logical circuits for that so like i said i'm just going to make a three panel system uh and using this one so i'm going to need to make two more panels and some extra cable to do this and it's just going to be uh an extra little section on my base that will have two slanted and one flat panels so what you're going to need again is two additional panels so if you come over to your electro print if you have made it already and you come down here and search on it click on solar and like right here like i said just the basic ones not the advanced ones because that does require steel so if you click on that it is going to require uh 10 grams of iron two grams of gold and 10 grams of copper so again two of those so it's 20 grams iron four grams of gold and 20 grams of copper i've already made those next thing we want to make while the the circuits are still connected is some more cables so let's go ahead and just click on cable uh right here cable coil and i'm just going to print some of these out real quick while i'm sitting here uh the electro printer prints them all out prints them out a lot quicker than the electro uh lathe so i'd suggest using the electric printer because as you can see they are just pumping right out and i'm going to be picking some of these up as i'm doing this and i think that should be enough so i'm going to go ahead and turn this off so it's no longer sucking up power and um we're going to go ahead and start doing this so all i need is switch hands is i'm going to use one up like this and then one down and one down go ahead and put these iron frames away and now i need the iron sheets and my welding tool so let's go ahead and get those out fire up the welding tool and i'm just going to uh make this a level two frame like this doesn't need to be airtight okay so once i'm done with that i am going to put my metal sheets back away put my make sure my my uh torch is off it is okay turn it off make sure you turn your your equipment off because it does use resources okay so here are the two solar panels i made earlier and like i said i'm just going to put see can i put it here with that rock there yep so i'm gonna if quit falling in the hole turn this around like this put this one here put this one here like this because if you watch the sun it's going to come like that and around so this one's going to be facing the 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 sun that's lowering this is the uh rising sun and this is when it's overhead so what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab some glass sheets and put it on this one and this one. And now I am actually going to take start taking this gear apart right here so I can put this solar panel on top and start wiring up everything that I need to. Uh, so first thing is I need to deconstruct this one. So the glass automatically goes back into my inventory. I'm going to put the glass in here. And I'm going to need the iron drill as well. Or not the iron drill. The electric drill to, to dismantle it the rest of the way. And once I dismantle it, I'm going to put my drill away. There's a lot of, a lot of switching out items in this game. And I'm going to come up here. Select my panel. And this one's going to be a flat panel, like I said. And it's going to sit on top, and I want the electric to face towards my work area. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my jetpack to make this a little bit easier to do. Alright, so now that it's up there, I'm going to go ahead and put on the glass. So those portion, the uh, the solar panel portion of this build is finished. I'm going to head drop back down to the ground, turn off my jetpack, and put those away. Now I need to pick up the rest of this stuff, because I want to put it right here. So I need to... Um, take these batteries out and I'm just going to drop these on the ground for now and we'll see I need the electric drill to pick this up with as well as this one so let me take out this. I'm actually going to swap out my batteries for this uh, because I know my suit battery is getting low see 27% so um, just go ahead and do this and then drop this one on the ground and so now once they're done like that, I am going to go ahead and just dismantle it or deconstruct these. 
and when you deconstruct them, they they don't get destroyed. They just kind of drop down like that. I'm gonna go ahead and put my drill away. Pick this this one up, and I'm gonna place this panel right here. And then I'm gonna pick up, oh, use this one, and put this. This is the the uh, small battery charger, so I'm just gonna put this in this this electrical air what air ray as well. If I can say that word right. And now I'm just gonna equip my cable and my my wiring tool. Go ahead and get these cables up. And I am actually going to replace this one because junction cables require two cables, while straight cables only require one. So I am uh, going to use that extra cable. So let's go ahead and just replace that while we're here. Now that we're here, go ahead and uh, I'm going to use the corner cable and make sure it turns towards my system. Straight cable, another corner cable. And then a straight cable and that one will that straight cable will turn into a junction just like that. Now up here, I'm going to use a uh, going to come down with a straight cable corner cable for this. And this is going to be a four way junction cable just like this. And this is going to be a three way junction cable corner cable right here. gonna come down here and put a corner cable on on here facing upwards straight cable corner cable face it this way straight cable all right so that should be starting to well actually the the sun has gone down so that will not be charging Corner cable, straight cable, and I, there, I, I guarantee you, there's easier ways of doing it. This is just one way that I was messing around with, and I actually saw, I actually saw another video where the guy made a uh, this type of um, solar array for the basic setup instead of using the fancier ones that track the sun, which I will be building later once I learn how to do it. Okay, so we have that done. And right there, as you can see, this is a complete circuit. Uh, let me go ahead and put this away. And then put the batteries back into uh, these. Get that large one. Get this one that's rolling away. Oh, what I need. So I'm going to put one, one in here. Use my crowbar to open this up. Put my crowbar away. Is that a... Okay, so that is a large one. I'm going to put the other one in here. Pick this one up. That is... That's not full. That's empty. Go ahead and put that there. Turn this on. And uh, stand by. And uh, let's let the sun come up. And I will show you just what this thing is doing. All right. So now we're over here at the next day. As you can see, the sun is rising. And this is the solar panel that is facing the rising sun. So as you can see, it's already at 90% efficiency. I'm going to go ahead and hit my jetpack and get up on top so we can see this solar panel as well. Go ahead, turn it off. So I, this one is starting to gain the solar energy. Uh, this is at 23. This one down here is at 100% because it is facing directly into the rising sun. Now it's down to 96. So as the sun comes up over, this one is going to lose efficiency, but this one will start gaining, as you can see right here. And then as the sun goes down, this one will lose efficiency, and this one will gain it. So it, it, it's, it's a basic setup. Uh, again, it's not like the ones that actually track. Those are more advanced, and I will be making one of those later on. Uh, once I once I figure this out more and uh, so we're going to go ahead and just turn on the network analyzer. Turn that on. So as we can see the cable network, we got um, the solar panels. The flat is on the area power is getting 10 watts. The battery charger is on as well, getting 405 watts. 
Uh, and then you can see the two angle solar panels as well down here. This is, I, I don't have any of my equipment turned on, but this is on the other side of the network uh, outside the, the, uh, the solar panel array. So that is it. That is, that is a very basic more efficient solar panel array than just laying one flat on the ground and getting the max solar power when the sun is up top. Go ahead and turn my jetpack back on and uh, come back over here and we'll take a look at it as it is powering up and going over. So as you can see, this one is at 71%. This one is down to 50%. And this one, again, the sun is not hitting it, so it is not there. Now it's starting to get uh, uh, the solar, the, the, the rays of the sun hitting it. So this one is going to go up as well. This one is at 80, and this one is going to go down. But it's still more efficient than, I, than, again, this just the flat panel. Because the flat panel will only get the best efficiency when the sun is overhead. So this is catching all three angles from sun up over to noon to sundown so if you guys have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them below again i am very new at this game and uh if you have any if you have any suggestions or anything go ahead and drop them in the comments below and as always you guys have a great time out there building a base on any planet that's on this game and uh have a merry christmas happy holidays season greetings if you celebrate um and i am magic flying potato and i am oot